Good morning, secured entrepreneurs. You know that it is spanking early for Miss Aurora. The sun is about to start creeping in on us. And you know, Miss Aurora has no issue with coming all natural up in here, up in here, because it is what it is. Okay. Now, I want to let all of the secured entrepreneurs know yes, Miss Aurora has been reading your emails. I understand what's going on in the market. This is not the time to panic. This is the time to buy, buy, buy. Remember that you are supposed to be buying up everything that is low at this time, dumping the things that are not serving your portfolio. So let's get with it. But this is why we are meeting live here in Las Vegas, September the 5th. Go down in the description box, click the link for the Eventbrite ticket. Okay, when you buy that ticket, you are joining the Sole Proprietor CEO program. Okay, so this is one of the group sessions and this one will be live. We'll be doing live group sessions on a monthly basis moving forward. Right now we've been doing them via Zoom. Okay, so let's, let's get it started. Okay, all the information for the program is going to be down there. The other thing, which is why we're doing this video today, that you were all talking about. Yes, we discussed all of this about three years ago when we were having that situation in the world. We were up all night teaching and getting stuff together because that's what we do around here. So of course, Mr. Aurora had to make a video about compound interest, compound interest, the rule of 72, compound interest in your business, okay? So we're going to attach that here because that's what we're, we're, we're gonna get on today. This is Take It Back Tuesday, okay? Take It Back Tuesday here in the Secured Entrepreneur Movement. For those of you who do not know who I am, I am Miss Aurora Day and I've helped hundreds of entrepreneurs just like you create six and seven figure tax-free businesses. You heard it right, stick around. Please like this video, share this video, comment below, subscribe to the channel if you have not. And we all know that this is the Secured Entrepreneur Movement. All right, so here's wealth. Money plus time divided by the rate of return minus inflation, minus tax, that's wealth, okay? Money plus time divided by the rate of return, minus inflation, minus tax, that's wealth, okay? I'm gonna get on that. Right now, I'm, gonna, I'm going to show you how the rule of 72 actually works for you. So I'm gonna do two numbers in this video. I'm gonna start with a 2% annual interest, okay? simply because most of the accounts that you all are talking to me about, you're, you're earning less than 2% interest annually. Okay, so your regular savings account, you know, you're earning less than 2%, but for the sake of this equation, uh, I'm gonna start with 2%, okay? So it's 72 divided by the rate of return. So we're saying the rate of return is 2% annually. This is, this is compound interest. This is compound interest, okay? So if you are earning 2% annually on your money in your account, we're talking, it's gonna take you 36 years to double your money. 36 years to double your money, according to the equation for compound interest. It's like, I really want some Chinese chicken and rice, but I can't afford it, okay? Because it took me 36 years to, to earn interest on my, my money, okay? You, you get that? So when you're going into the bank, and you're wanting to open up these accounts for your business. You want to open up these accounts. Like, I still got some people who said they were going to open up an account for their Christmas fund. Somebody told me that in second quarter. They're like, yeah, we're going to open up our account for the Christmas fund. Really? So, okay. I don't, I don't know what type of fund. I don't know what type of interest it could have earned in six months. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. But if, if you have an interest, if you're starting these accounts because you're understanding that compound interest is the way then you must seek out an account that's going to give you a rate of return much higher than 2%, okay? So now, I wanna do, let's do 12%. Let's do 12%. All right, so 12%, we're gonna double this. 
is that right? 12%. So now, six years. If you've got an account where you're earning 12% annually on your money, it's going to take you six years to double it, okay? So that means that now I'm going to seek out investment opportunities, okay? I'm going to seek out the types of bank accounts that are actually going to give me a higher rate of return because I'm working with time. Money plus time divided by rate of return minus inflation minus tax equals wealth. Okay, so now I'm saying I need the highest rate of return so that I can lessen the time. Okay, in addition to this, the account that you decide to open and that gives you the highest rate of return, okay, that's the account that you're now going to push money into. That's the account you're going to push the most money into because it's giving you the highest rate of return in the, in the least amount of time, okay? So to answer the question as it relates to how is it that these people are telling you they're not really giving you any interest on your money, you're looking at it and it's saying 0.08%, well, Ms. Aurora is telling you that if you're 2% or under, you're talking more than 30 years to, to, to get some compound interest, to get some monies going, okay? You'll be working for somebody forever if, if in fact, you, you are going to keep accounts like that, okay? So as you are building your business, as you are uh, growing in your CEO nest, okay, your CEO hood, okay, you're going to now seek out the types of accounts that are best for your company, okay? Now you are now see y'all 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 about to get Miss Aurora started. I wasn't gonna go here. <laughs> but um all right. Okay, I'm 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 gonna I'm gonna talk for five more minutes. I really didn't want to make a long video. All right, five minutes. All right, so here it is. <clears throat> Many of you who are already working with Miss Aurora, you already know that if you are starting out, we start you out with some entities that are going to help you right now to protect your business and to actually build a business, okay? And then for those of you who are advanced, you know that we put you into other uh, entities that will help you to grow out internationally and expand, okay? So I'm going to do this example for the secured entrepreneurs who have been with us here in the community, but you have not worked with uh, Ms. Aurora as of yet. So when we're talking about the wealth equation, okay, we always want an entity that has the ability to uh, pass taxation through. So, so the limited liability company is what we're gonna use because it's a pass-through tax entity, okay? And we're gonna use it the right way, all right? Uh, and if you don't know what Ms. Roy was already talking about, the link is in the box below, bit.ly backslash ADC time, get on the calendar, stop playing. Okay, so you have, this is the engine. This is the engine. And remember, we're working the wealth equation, money plus time divided by rate of return minus inflation minus tax equals wealth, right? So this is the engine, and because, what did Mr. Aurora teach you a few videos back, that now we're, we're, we're uh, uh, in the new administration, the cash flowing secured entrepreneur who is, who is going to claim that they earn $400,000 a year or more has the laser light on the forehead, okay? You're gonna be paying some taxes. So we wanna use an entity that will allow us to pass the tax through. But in this case, because we're wealth building, we have another entity for our investment. This entity, this, this, what are we doing here? Is uh, gaining an 8% interest, okay, annually, all right? So we're earning 8% here, all right? Now, after the first year, 
We've stacked money here. We've earned money from whatever the investment is. Now we're saying that that could be deemed as taxable income and we could have to pay taxes on it. So now we have the right to flow this into yet another entity. But this entity will also be earning interest. Might be 10%, okay? So we got the flow, all right? We got the flow going on. Uh, because here's the deal. We already know that things cost more today than they did when our parents were our age, right? So we know that the cost of living is consistently uh, going up, but people are not really, uh, you know, earning a, a, a what's that called? A living wage. They're not, they're not earning the type of monies that are uh, appropriate for what things cost today, which is why we have to rely on compound interest, all right? But as we're building our businesses, we're, we're getting at, you know, even in this, even in this entity, we're, we're putting credit on it. We're giving it all the credentialings to come out and make it do what it do for real, for real, right? Okay, so then at the end, y'all already know where I was going because you got to have the granddaddy. <laughs> you got to have the taxes of entity, all right, because this is about tax deferral, all right? Money plus time divided by rate of return minus inflation minus tax equals wealth, okay? So you must have a wealth cycle that is assisting you in that. And it's, and it's kind of hard to really build the wealth cycle if you don't understand compound interest because then you would just be opening up bank accounts and you don't know what's going on because you're staying here and you're doing everything in this account and that's why it's hard for you to track and monitor what's happening with, with you know, it earning money, if it earn money at all, because you're not really paying attention to it because you haven't really learned how to conduct your business financially. You've been being taught how to make money, you're, you're getting on all these platforms and you're learning all this stuff, and Miss Aurora is too, but I know the back end stuff, okay? So when the money comes in, I know where it's going, why it's going there, and what I'm going to get, and then what I'm gonna be able to do, okay? <laughs> Okay, so that's really what Mr. Rora wants to say in this video, because you know Mr. Rora can go on and on to the break of dawn. <laughs> you all know that you can find me, Miss Aurora Day, at AuroraDayConsulting.com. And the link to get on my calendar is underneath this video. I think it's called the description box here on YouTube. It might be somewhere on Facebook, I don't know, but it's bit.ly backslash ADC time, okay? And you know Miss Aurora will get you right. So until next time, ta-ta.